Do you want a $12 end table? We'll show you how we made ours right now. Hi, it's Kim. And Garrett. And today we're going to continue our family room series and we're going to make a side table for our sofa. Alright, this is a pretty easy project. Super easy. Just a couple of cuts. We only needed three 2 by 2s We cut those down to size. Then we just needed one 2 by 6 But we had some 2 by 12 laying around from a previous project. It looks pretty, so we thought we would use this. Alright, so we put the cut list right here. Whoa. <laughs> We're using plans that we borrowed off of Fix This, Build That for this nice table. We're putting some pocket holes in the top to pin them all together. And we already did the pocket holes in our 2x2s two for so the base and the top. Well, we'll you think we could put a plug in there? The plug? You could, but you're going to see it. You're just going to have to sand that thing pretty. Wasn't paying attention. Did they line up okay? Yeah, we'll glue it. We're going to use two and a half inch pocket screws to join these two boards. If you were using two by sixes, you would do the same thing. You would just join four 22 inch boards. Oh, I got some sanding to do. <laughs> All right, let's put the frame together. Frame super simple. This will be facing up towards the top. Oh, okay. And then you're going to screw in from the bottom to attach this to the top. Oh, uh, okay. Can you do it again? In two of the 19 inch boards that are part of the top frame, we're going to drill two pilot holes in each to attach the top. Next step, you'll assemble the frame using two of the 19 inch boards and two of the 23 and a half inch boards. The board with the pilot holes and the pocket holes for the top and a board without the pilot holes and the pocket holes for the bottom. For the bottom, you want the pocket holes facing down on the ground and for the top, you want the pocket holes facing up towards the top. So no holes will be showing. One side done. Time to attach them together. We're using these great little corner clamps to hold it in place while we try to screw the pocket holes in. Alright, the base is done. We just need to sand it up and then we're going to paint it. We're going to paint it dark so it looks like iron. We're going for that industrial look and then we're going to stay in the top natural. Alright, so unless you guys want to watch this sand, we'll be right back. We're going to sand the bottom and the top. Alright, now that I've finished up sanding from my rogue pocket hole, uh, my various tools for sanding, 
I'm just gonna put these away. <laughs> just putting away all my sanding stuff. <laughs> don't look at any he really of this. did use all of these <laughs> sanding don't look at tools. Any of this sanding. All right, now that all the sanding stuff is all right, now that all the sanding stuff is put away, I'm gonna lay down a towel because my sanding job is so smooth and the finish is so glass-like that I don't want to scratch it, so I'm gonna put a towel down. I'm putting a towel down because we're gonna lay it face down. To attach the top to the frame. You guys see yourself? You see yourself? <laughs> so top is finished, base is finished. <clears throat> it's so symmetrical, I don't know where the top is. Does this look trippy? Oh, I can't do it. You were gonna mess it up. I'm gonna hurt you if you mess it up. All right, find the top, quick. You have flipped it all around, I don't know. Yeah, it's right there, it's down. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna attach the base to the top using two and a half inch pocket hole screws. The pocket hole screws have wide threads and should allow the top to breathe, expand and contract during the changing of the seasons. It's a table for all seasons. <laughs> Don't sing it. It's a table for all. <laughs> Don't sing all. it. <laughs> right, Shazam! You know that was actually a cartoon. No, this is the same. The instructions say to add eight yeah. screws, two on each. But I had the directions wrong and had Garrett drill four holes instead of eight, so we're going to attach it with these four for now. Looks great! Alright, there is our six dollar table. It took us six dollars and probably 60 minutes and then like another 60 of sanding. Right. <laughs> so like two hours and six bucks. We got us a table. And it's $6 for us because we only paid for the 2 by 2s but the top we actually already had on hand. Uh, but if you were to build this out of 2 by 6s which is what the plans say, uh, that's another $6. So even if you had to purchase the top, that's still $12 in lumber. subscribe and smash that bell tick that bell hit that bell I don't know what to do to the bell do something to the bell to get notified Just click it click the bell and if you want to see other projects that we've done we have the floating shelves floating up here and the farmhouse chair down here uh, thanks for watching thanks, thanks for joining us